Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So uh, I went thrifting and got some pretty interesting stuff, so I want to show it off to you. So let's take a look. So welcome to my channel. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. Yeah, I got a pretty interesting thrift run here. Uh, some pretty cool stuff, stuff I like to deal with. Um, kind of throwing back to some oldies but goodie kind of stuff that I used to sell don't sell as much anymore i tried to focus in on toys and stuff like that because i like to collect toys and sell toys uh maybe video games would fall in that category too um uh, that's a fine balance you got to have but it can make the hobby of both selling and uh collecting really fun because you can maybe make a little money back on your stuff that you're buying for your collection and kind of supplement your hobby that way um, or you can just do it for, for pure profit, you know, if you're trying to do that, uh, just be an eBay seller. Uh, that works too. So, got some interesting items, but let me start with this stack of games I bought. Uh, they were only charging me $3.99 and I got a 10% uh, uh, discount on them. So I decided to pick them up even though they're not necessarily, I didn't look them up and see if they're actually like worth reselling right now. But this generation of games, I kind of want to uh, start picking up whenever there's nice clean copies so these I mean I'm not recommending this stuff but I just want to kind of like hang on to it and uh, see where we can go with it later on down the road so we got uh, Outlaw Golf Nine Holes of Christmas uh, that looks like it was a Blockbuster exclusive back in the day that's pretty neat so a nice clean copy for original Xbox so early 2000s generation uh, we got uh, whoop, Fumble <sighs> We got Outlaw Golf, pick that one up. Then there's uh, Brothers in Arms. We got the Need for Speed Underground. I like the Need for Speed Underground game I played on Xbox 360. So uh, again, don't know if, so what I paid maybe like $3.50 a piece for these or something like that. Maybe, actually we'll say $4 with tax and everything. So no idea if this is really worth it. Test Drive Off-Road. Uh, soundtrack with Metallica, that's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. So of course you could scan these in the store and see if they're worth, if you're just trying to flip them or whatever, you can, you know, obviously that's like common knowledge, but uh, then we got a SeaWorld game for Xbox, and there was a PlayStation uh, snowboarding game, SSX, PlayStation 2, and then one Xbox 360 game, Skate 3. So I'm just kind of like, I guess you could say almost speculating down the line maybe these might sell or usually with games like this I might throw them up for sale anyways like to where I'll make five dollars if they do sell and uh, if they're not worth you know more than that of course and if they sell fine if not you know it's like listing fodder it's it's good to like stimulate your eBay store anyways so let me get this item out of the way I saw this hanging up and I sold a contra I just sold a controversial Christmas sweater the other day uh, it was the one that my wife actually actually bought last year I don't think she knew what it was but it was a Christmas sweater that said it had like a picture of a noose or something on it and it said Epstein didn't kill himself man anyways I found this one in there this is a uh, American Psycho Patrick Bateman uh, it's got uh, it's got like yeah, cleavers and, uh, or, you know, butcher knives and uh, chainsaws on the back and axes, hatchets and stuff. Uh, this is actually a branded piece of merchandise. Game gear. And it says the size is medium. This is from 2015. So, yeah, if you you know what this is, if you've seen the movie American Psycho, you know, Christian Bale Pat, plays Patrick Bateman, the American Psycho. Uh, so I'm going to throw this up. Uh, as soon as possible it's because uh, people are looking for weird uh, Christmas sweaters because the, the holiday season is coming up so oh that was $9.99 and I got a discount on it I picked up this Nerf uh, basketball set so this is pretty neat this is from uh, 2012 2012 Hasbro so it's kind of old at this point oh yeah 10 years old right over 10 years old it was $2.99 and it's never been opened I, I peeked into the side and see the net still in there sealed so it's a, a, a kind of a new set it's a little bit beat up but the actual this cardboard is actually the backboard for it 
So I just thought that was a neat piece. Uh, you know, it might be a $25, $30 sale when it comes down to it, whenever you try to list it up for sale. But for $2.99 and a discount on that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. Here's an interesting one. This is a Funko Pop that was sitting there. Now, I think if I research this, this is what they call a six inch Funko Pop. I'm not very good with Funkos. Yeah, it is a six inch. I don't know. I thought that, the, I thought that actually, yeah, there are smaller ones than that, right? So this is considered like a, a bigger size, I guess. This is a big Hero 6 one. And I looked that one up and it looked like it was actually worth a little bit of money. If I'm wrong, it doesn't matter. It was $2.99 um, with, with the discount as well. So maybe I can sell it for 15 bucks and hopefully more. But uh, I just like to deal with stuff like this anyways. Uh, toys are definitely in my my wheelhouse. Here's a really neat one. And here's a tip. Um, if you f find stuff like this in the thrift store, definitely take a look at it, especially if it's never been used like this. This is a, uh, this is from 2016. This is a Pioneer, yeah, Pioneer brand, sewn leather bounded photo album. So that was marked at $7.99 and I got the discount on that, of course. And this one's never been used. Uh, and I bet you that's probably worth about 30 bucks right there. But there's some, I've found ones like this, these photo albums, these, especially if they're older, you know, 2016 is still kind of new. If, they're, if you find the older ones that have never been used, I've found a couple of them uh, that I paid a couple bucks a piece that it sold for over a hundred dollars. So, uh, cause people are maybe, um, people that still do photos may have this particular model for all their photo albums. And so, you know, once the quantity, once the, the supply of those starts to become limited to only thrift stores and stuff like that, uh, they're gonna sell for good money. At Goodwill, this Goodwill that I went to, I always get lucky whenever there's, they have a bunch of bins of merchandise that hasn't been put out yet. Uh, nobody seems to like vulture it or anything. So I go over and, you know, can casually care, you know, uh, calmly look at it. And there was some sealed new puzzles in there. There was this, uh, for $4.99, Harry, Harry Potter 3D puzzle, never, never opened. Um, I think that might be about a $30 puzzle. Um, I couldn't find the year on this one, but I assume it's probably a few years old at this point. So that one seemed pretty good. And then I got this one. I think it might even be better. Uh, this one was only $2.99. This is a sealed puzzle. This is a Neen, N-E-N-E, -N -E, Neenie or Neen Thomas thousand piece puzzle called Memento. Looks kind of like a cool uh, Gothic theme. Um, originally for $14.95 was the retail price in 2014. So sealed puzzle. I think that's a $30 plus puzzle actually. So that was pretty nice to find nice sealed products uh, for, for cheap in the bins. Last but not least, uh, I haven't really tried to sell shoes in quite a while, but uh, I found a pair and they were, these things look like, I mean, they're definitely used, but somebody ran maybe with these two or three times is what I'm thinking, or maybe just didn't even run with them, just wore them as casual shoes. But these are A6 Gel Kayano 14s, and this was a special, uh, special color scheme. I forgot exactly which one it was. Actually, let me look it up on my phone again real quick, and so I can tell you properly. Okay, here we go. A6 Gel Kayano 14 Celebration of Sport Edition. Uh, people that have them for sale, let's see, what size was mine? Uh, look at this one. My size was US size 10. I believe that's men, Euro European 44. That sounds like a men's size to me. Um, people have them for new other and pre-owned for over $100 a piece. And I would say mine condition-wise are, they should just best, you know, I mean, of course they're pre-owned, but they're, they're flawless. Otherwise, other than a little bit of dirt on the soles, right? I mean, which who cares about that? I could even wipe them down if I wanted to. And so a hundred dollar sale, that might be a little bit optimistic. So, but, oh, they were $14.99 and I got the discount on them. Uh, man, usually I think Goodwill's kind of slipping because I, I have to imagine, usually, generally speaking, they would charge a higher price for a shoe in this quality of condition, you know? Um, but there it is. Nice set, nice pair of shoes. Um, gonna throw it up for, I guess, a little bit less than a hundred and see what I can do with them. Uh, but I think that's a 
could be a little mini home run right there. Hopefully, home run item of the, the lot. <clears throat> you know what? I almost forgot to show you the main attraction, at least for me. Uh, I found four uh, vintage 1999 uh, Star Wars Episode One collector's cups. Uh, they were $2.99 a piece. Uh, so Episode One, I saw in the opening night in the theaters, I remember back in 1999. So it's pretty cool, pretty nostalgic. I believe I had one of these cups. I think I might have had the Darth Maul one. But I didn't realize there was 12 of these guys. Uh, I found four in the store. So we got the uh, Captain Tarples. Then we got uh, Yoda. Pretty cool. We got the Boss Nas. And we got uh, Queen, Ad Queen Amidala. So $2.99 with a discount. I mean, I could put them all four together and try to resell them. I mean, yeah, I might make a, I could probably make a $30 sale or $40 sale, something like that. Probably sit on them for quite a while, but I think they're just neat. So I grabbed them. I'm going to give them to my wife for her. She's got some Star Wars collection stuff like Baby Yodas and stuff. So uh, these will be nice to go along with all her stuff. Pretty cool. You guys remember when episode one came out, it was such a big deal because we got new Star Wars. The first time we ever got new Star Wars, basically, because, uh, you know, the original trilogy came out and no one really thought too much about any more Star Wars movies coming out. Anyways, these are cool. All right. I sold this He-Man and Battle Cat set. Pretty good deal the customer got. Uh, all He-Man's missing is his power harness to be a complete He-Man and then a pretty nice Battle Cat. Took a best offer for 65 on that. Just moving it along. Um, complete He-Man and Battle Cat. You could probably get some more for, obviously. Uh, if you wait a while, too. Alright, let's see what we got here. Some more sales. Uh, first, I sold uh, one of the last three Battle Beasts I got. This turtle one here, or the snake one. Pretty nice one with the weapon. $24.99 total paid by the customer for that one. And I sold... Uh, uh, some Power Rangers weapons from a toy lot. Let's see if I can find those. Here it is. Those Power Rangers weapons right there. Uh, those sold for uh, Power Rangers weapons sold for uh, twelve ninety nine. And then sold some of those phones. The ones that I recently started deciding to buy again. Let me get them out. All right, there's those Panasonic TGFA30 phones. Uh, somebody bought uh, two of the handset with the base chargers. Uh, $15 a piece, so $30 free shipping. And I paid four dollars for that bag of the. So I still have. I sold these. I still have one more base unit that didn't have a handset to go with it. And I got the main answering machine unit with a handset still for sale. So I've already made a thirty dollars sale on a four dollar investment, and then I got more stuff to sell. So pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll try to get more uh, videos up. Um, I want you guys to keep coming back and uh, watching more, uh, so I need to get back into it. I had been, I have like a cold and stuff lately. I've been kind of sick, so just my production of videos in general had went down. Um, but um, so I'm gonna come through with that promise of getting more content uh, more frequently back up again, back like it used to be. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one.